Hi there, I am so excited to finally be sharing with you my review for the Bobbi Brown Rich Chocolate Eye Palette. I am doing it a few days earlier than I anticipated I would be because originally um, I decided that I was not going to recommend any new, new products during my September no buy. I felt like I was trying to encourage everyone to go on a no buy with me and I didn't want to be recommending new products to go out and purchase during that time because I felt like that was sort of the opposite of the message that I was trying to send. Um, however, I have noticed that this eye palette is now sold out on the Bobbi Brown site. It is still available at other retailers like Sephora, Neiman Marcus, Neiman Marcus Nordstrom, places like that. So I decided I wanted to go ahead and share this with you before I waited any longer because I was afraid that it might be completely sold out by the time I got around to it another few days or a week from now. Um, I did order this at the end of August. I did not purchase this during my no buy. I promise you that I have had this. I have been holding on to it. I have been using it, trying it, loving it, and it was just so excited to finally share this with you. So I hope that you'll forgive me that it's a couple days before the end of the no buy, but I just couldn't wait any longer and I wanted to make sure that anyone that wanted to get their hands on this was able to do it before it was sold out at other retailers. So without any further ado, let me get to the palette. So this is it. This is brand new from Bobbi Brown. This is limited edition. Again, this is the Rich Chocolate Eye Palette. Let me show you the inside of this. Oh, it is just gorgeous. Try not to blind you with the mirror here. This is what it looks like. There are seven eyeshadows in the palette. Five of these are matte shadows. There's one sparkle shadow and one shimmer wash. I'm gonna go through each one of these. Um, it does also come with a little dual-ended brush, one end that you can use for applying eyeshadow and the other would be great for applying the liner. And I will show you which shadow I use for the liner in this. It's probably um, not a brush I would use every day for the eyeshadow portion of it. Maybe in a pinch that would be okay, but I do really like this end of it. I do really like this for eyeliner. It's kind of got nice firm bristles and I think it does a really good job of packing on the eyeshadow for the liner. So let me go through each one of these shadows and show you a little bit more about this palette. So the first color in the palette is right here and it's Bone. It's one of the five matte shades in the palette. It's just a really soft sort of off-white matte color. It's really great for putting all over your lid and creating a nice neutral canvas for all the other shadows to go over the top of. When you use this as your base, all the other shadow colors blend together really effortlessly and easy. Bobbi Brown includes this in a lot of her palettes and I can see why. It makes a great sort of matte neutral highlight. It could be a nice matte um, highlight for the inner corner of your eyes and just again create sort of a nice base for everything else to blend over the top of. The second color in the palette is Stone, and that's right here. This is also a matte shade. The funny thing about this shade to me is, you'll see as we get a little bit further along, is the sparkle eyeshadow here is called Caramel, and this one's called Stone. And I definitely think this looks more like a caramel color, and I think this one looks a lot more like a stone color. But be that as it may, Bobbi Brown decided to call it Stone, and she knows a lot more about eyeshadows than I do. So let me just show you a swatch of this. Again, as I mentioned, it's another of the matte shades in the palette. Just a really soft brown would make a great transition or blending color for darker eye looks. Um, it reminds me a little bit of MAC Soft Brown, so that might give you a little bit better idea of the look here. Um, I think it's really nice also as a crease color for a really natural look. You could put bone all over the lid and then have stone in the crease or as an outer V color as part of a daytime soft natural neutral look. Okay so the third color here in the palette is called Frappe. Again another matte eyeshadow and this one um, is a very light sort of nude color. I think this would go really well as again another blending or transition color. That's the color that I use today to blend my shadow colors together. Let me show you a swatch of this. Just sort of a light nude kind of color, not extremely distinct on its own, but if you wanted to do like a very ultra light look, I think you could wear bone all over the lid and just a little bit of either stone or frappe in your crease for a really soft look, especially if you were doing like a bold red lip or something like that. Ooh, I'm flopping my hair around. I have really big hair today and I'm not exactly sure why. I guess it was just 
one of those days. But anyway, um, moving on to the fourth shadow in the palette. Okay, so the fourth color in the palette is right here, and this is caramel. And again, I just think it's kind of funny that this one is called caramel and then the other one's called stone. If you can see them together, you might see what I mean. This is definitely more of a caramel color, and to me, this is more of a stone color, but I don't make the shadows, I just report on them. So anyway, then this color is really the only one in the palette that's sort of disappointing to me. Um, let me show you that here. So there it is. It's just, it doesn't have a lot of color payoff and it's mostly just glitter, um, but I do still think it's usable. And how I would use this for me is if I was doing sort of a party look or a festive look or something like that, I would put all of my other shadows on and get those blended in. And then I would just take my ring finger and just tap it all over the lid just to add a little bit of extra pop or glimmer or you know just a little bit more of a festive look. Probably not something that I would use every day. Again, I think the glitter is kind of obvious and it's just again really the, kind of the only color that I was a little bit disappointed with. Everything else is so wearable and uh, with great color payoff and pigmentation. And so that's sort of the only disappointment in the palette. But again, it's not completely unusable. I just might use it in a little bit different way. Okay, so the fifth color in the palette is right here, and this is called Champagne Truffle. And this is the only shimmer wash eyeshadow in the palette. This is sort of a pinky beige type of color with a little bit of shimmer to it. It's not a really obvious shimmer, it just has a really nice sheen to it. Uh, this would be great as an all over the lid color. It would also make an excellent highlight color, which is what I did today. Um, I actually took the liner brush before I used it as liner, and just uh, dab this in the end here and just did a really, really fine highlight right here on the brow bone on both sides. And then I also went back with a little bit fluffier brush and used it as my inner corner highlight. I think this is a really nice, subtle, um, shimmery highlight for fair skin tones, but if you had a darker, medium to dark skin tone, this would make a really nice, a little bit uh, brighter highlight for your skin. So really you can't go wrong either way uh, that you want to use it in this palette. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Max Naked Lunch. I think it's a little bit more on the beige side and Max Naked Lunch is probably a little bit pinker, but you kind of get the same effect on the lid of just sort of a nice neutral base lid shade if that's how you wanted to use it. The sixth color in the palette is definitely my favorite of all the colors and this is Coco and that is right there. I just love this color. It's such just a beautiful, um, let me just show you. It's kind of a brown, brownish gray kind of color. I really love this. Again, another matte eyeshadow. As I mentioned, uh, the pink, uh, excuse me, champagne truffle here is shimmer wash and the caramel is sparkle and all the others are matte. Just, is, just to mention that again, if I didn't before as we go through this. Um, but Coco is just a beautiful shade. I am wearing that all over my lid today and just up into the crease a little bit. Um, and then I use this color, the stone, as my blending color. Again, Coco is just beautiful. You could wear it with everything in this palette. It just goes really well with everything. You could probably also wear this with a lot of other colors, darker colors that you have outside of your palette, even lighter colors. I don't know. It's just one of my favorites. This is definitely something I could see myself buying if it were sold as a single. Um, yeah, so definitely, definitely my favorite. Just to show you that one more time. Really beautiful color. One of my favorite Bobbi Brown shadows is Slate. And for some reason, this kind of reminds me of that a little bit. I think Slate is definitely more gray and this has more brown in it, but it kind of just to me has the same type of just neutral effect that's really flattering on a lot of skin tones and with a variety of looks. I can picture myself wearing this with just a lot of different clothing options, lipstick options, and things like that, which to me is always a really nice quality in an eyeshadow. Last but certainly not least is the final color in the palette, and this is the palette's namesake. This is Rich Chocolate. I love this color. It's just sort of a deep, dark, plummy brown. It has really great pigmentation. I am wearing this as my eyeliner, both top and bottom today. Um, I use the brush that came with it, like I mentioned before. Really nice, um, let me just show you this. So just have a little bit of this on the brush there and it just creates a really nice line 
Again, really deeply pigmented color. The color payoff is really great, so it works really well as a liner. I also use this in my outer V and just to blend right here at the outer V corner area and just sort of softly blend that up to my crease. Um, it reminds me a little bit of the darkest color in the Chanel quad also, so if you have that, this might be a little bit familiar to you. I think this is a little bit darker than that, um, but again, it's just a wonderful defining shade in this palette, and I will be wearing this as a liner a lot, not only with this palette, but other ones as well. I kind of really like that in the fall to wear a little bit a uh, shade that's not just brown or black as my eyeliner. I think having a little bit of this sort of plummy pigmentation to it. It's just sort of a nice change. And actually, let me just wipe my finger off here. Let me show you this shade as well um, on my finger. You can just see how deep and dark that is. And I really just have to touch very gently to get that pigmentation. So that is the entire palette. Uh, just to give you a little bit more information about it, it is $52 and as of today, it was sold out on the Bobbi Brown site. But I did check a few other places like uh, Sephora, Nordstrom, Nima Marcus. I think I mentioned that earlier in the video, but um, it was still available there. It is limited edition. As far as I know, it might be something that you can only find online. I'm not exactly sure about that, but I did order it online myself. Um, I think all of the colors in here are really wearable. There's a lot of neutrals. You can definitely do a nice daytime soft look. You could probably go as soft as you want to with this palette or as dark and dramatic as you want to with this palette. There is such a variety. I think this would be a really great palette to take with you on vacation. I think if you wanted to do daytime looks, you could find something. And then if you wanted to just go back at night and add a darker pop of color and you know, in your outer V, blend that in to change it up a little bit for nighttime, I think you could do that. I'm definitely gonna be taking this with me when I travel. I just, I love it. I really can't say enough good things about it. I think it's practical, versatile. All the colors have really nice um, color payoff and pigmentation, just to give you another look. Again, the only one I'm not really wild about is the sparkle eyeshadow, but that would be true for any sparkle eyeshadow. They're just not my favorite formulation. Um, I've said this before and I'll say it again. I think Bobbi Brown does matte eyeshadows better than anyone else and this palette is certainly no exception. There's just so many wonderful options in here. So I'm really, really happy that I was able to get it. Definitely one of my more favorite palettes of all time, I have to say. It's been a uh, really, really nice. So anyway, I thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you very soon. Bye-bye.